Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to share a little story in one of my little stories. I watched a movie a while back. And in this movie, it starred Sean Connery. In this movie, uh, he played an inmate. Uh, you know, falsely arrested. You know how that goes. While the big wigs laughed all the way to the bank. But what happened was, he worked with gorillas. And when he worked with gorillas, he, he really grew to love them and understand them. He studied them. And uh, something horrendous happened. I won't tell the story because I know some of you may want to see the movie. But basically, what ended up happening was he was being transported to the main prison where he was going to do his time. And when they opened the door to let him in, to get transported, there were these horrible, growling, agitated uh, Doberman pinchers. They were on a chain, just, just far enough so they couldn't bite him, but close enough so he better not try anything, okay? And what happened was after the long trip was over and they opened the back door, he's sitting there, they noticed the dogs aren't making a sound. And when they finally see what's going on inside, the dogs are laying down, chilling with him. Not making a sound, not angry, not agitated, chilling. Now, I say that to say this. I'm going to read a scripture to you. And I want you to listen to this. This is Psalms, or shall I say, the 23rd Psalm. This is so encouraging when you can't figure out how to make head or tails out of what's going on. And you ask God to help you, and you see him, you see his handiwork? Oh yeah, it proves just how much God is there for us. Listen to this. Uh, this is verses one through six. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Cup runneth over is like total satisfaction. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now, when God makes you lay down in green pastures beside still waters, that's called peace, the peace that passes all understanding. When the storm was raging, remember in the New Testament, the storm was raging and, and, and Jesus was down in the, in, the, in the bottom of the boat sleeping, head on a pillow. That means he was sleeping sweet. Deep sleep. And the disciples are panicking. Ah, what are we going to do? And they go downstairs waking poor man up. Oh, wake up, wake up. We, we perish, we perish. And I know he had to be rolling his eyes. Oh, ye of little faith. He climbs up out, you know, gets up to the top of the boat. He speaks to the storm. Okay, chill, be still. Now, he tells the storm to be still. Peace, be still. But the lesson in that is that is how much power and authority God has over our lives. There is no storm coming, no storm brewing, no storm creating or wreaking havoc that God can't control. So if it's reeking, baby, God is working something. 
He's working something. Either you're going to learn something like the disciples did. You hear me? Or he gives you that peace that passes all understanding. And your enemies get to watch you get blessed. While you're at total peace. In paths of righteousness. Beside still waters. Green pastures. You hear what I'm saying? The peace that passes all understanding. Listen, you guys. Peace be still. I don't care if war breaks out. Get that in your gut. Peace be still. Fear. That's not of God. God is love. And perfect love. Cast out fear. Fear has torment. You don't need that brewing all in you. No. If your mind is 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 working and your spirit is still, you can think very clearly. But remember this, you guys. Panic kills. It has the potential to kill. It'll get you hurt, get someone else hurt or killed, or you may lose your life. Panicking. Don't panic. Don't react. Be prayerful and proactive and see what God will tell you to do and you will find out no matter how sad the situation looks no matter how hopeless God has your answer and if you have an ear to hear what the spirit of God is saying to his body in the church you will be safe you will be okay amen God's got the final word. God bless you.